Hey guys, Mary Jam. So September 14th at 5.55, I have to check the time. So yeah, this is what I did earlier today. I did most of the dishes. I cooked the cumulistro mushrooms, which I didn't do in camera. But I'm pretty tired. So <laughs> we're just doing a recap of what I've done. I'm going to turn off the lights here. So yeah, I'm going to take a nap soon because I'm just tired out. Uh, it's just Dean that's coming by, so my place doesn't have to be that special. So yeah, I just did the toilet for now. Get around the counter another time. <laughs> and then I moved, I think what really killed me though, well, what made me tired was moving, because we moved all the stuff around. I haven't vacuumed it yet, but I'm going to next time I'm awake. Unless if Dean's here by then, then I will just clean it afterwards. So yeah, I just kind of moved everything onto the couch to make it messy again. So if we do play games, if Dean comes by, then we'll have to clean. Play games in this little area here. <laughs> and he could use this table, so it's easy to move stuff off. But yeah, I'm pretty tired out. Um, like I said, I've been moving a lot of stuff, and I think that's why... I'm like so tired now. This has been on the to-do list for so long. Stuffed animals, but I still gotta vacuum it. Yeah, cause I only vacuumed part of it. So I'll re-vacuum later. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the lights off. Cause I'm getting ready for bed. Oh, and I put the butterflies on the window and it looks like they fell. <laughs> only one's still there. So yeah, the wind butterflies fell. Here we go. One. Okay, maybe I'll just put it here then. Uh, maybe I'll put it on this side for now. There we go. One. I don't know where the other ones are. I kind of like them on the windowsill though. So, oh, here's the other one. Three. One, two. There's one more. I'm going to look for it later. I'm too tired. So I turn off all my lights when I go to sleep. Except for the hallway. So, sorry, it's dark. But I am tired out. Um, I think just moving everything around made me tired. So, <sighs> gotta turn off this light. So it's going to be dark in a moment. <laughs> I'll probably be asleep by the time this video is up. Cause like I said, my friend is coming by around seven, seven thirty ish, so I wanna get like at least an hour nap. So that's why I'm just kinda moving everything. So then that way at least I could uh lay down. <sighs> I'm just so tired. I think literally just moving everything, especially pulling out the couch and stuff, kind of tired me out because it's a lot of energy to do. And uh, trying to get my charger in here. Yeah, so I'm not even hungry. I'm just so tired. I even smoke. I have like two smokes. I really hate it when people keep telling me to quit smoking. So, now I just tell them, I know so many people who get cancer and they don't, they never smoked a cigarette in their life. They get lung cancer, they never had alcohol or cigarettes in their life. They still get it. You uh, hear stories all the time about serial killers going into people's houses and attacking them in the middle of the night. So it's like you're not even safe really in your own home. Anything could happen to you, literally. So me smoking is really not that bad compared to I could. I've been in car accidents, actually. I've been in a lot of car accidents and... You could just walk out the door and get hit by a car, sadly, and then, what, blame it on cigarette smoking? No. So, to me, I'm going to enjoy my life, regardless what people say. Like I keep saying, cigarettes is the only thing that helps with the constant pain that I'm in 
and where's the trash can? Oops. I don't go to the trash can. So yeah, um, to me, it doesn't really make a difference. I know some people don't want to hear that, but I don't really care. It's my life. I'm the one that's stuck here. I'm the one that has to deal with the pain somehow, and this is how I deal with it, and people don't like it too bad. But the fact that somebody's going saying, oh, you you got to suffer the consequences for smoking. Seriously, just going out, walking across the street, you could get hit by a car like that. Which actually, one of my friends died instantly from north of 60, like I keep saying. She literally walked across the street and she got hit by a car and she died. She was not smoking. I mean, yeah, she was on her phone, so it was kind of a bad, bad uh, example. But, I mean, anything could happen. That's my main thing. So, I think you should at least enjoy life. I'm not, I don't drink, I don't do weed, I don't do drugs anymore, so, like, people gotta lay off, it's like, don't tell somebody they gotta die, they gotta, uh, <laughs> suffer their own consequences, it's like, yeah, just like life, like I keep saying, look at all these wars that are going on right now, people are literally dying in their homes, or being held hostage, and then yet somebody's nagging on me about uh, smoking <laughs> consequences. Oh, blah, blah, blah. So if I die, I die. Everybody dies. That's just the way life is. But I'm going to heaven. So, like I keep saying, it's not up to me. It's up to God. When I go, I, it's when I go, it's my time to go. It's not up to me. It's up to God. And no matter what I do... Um, no matter what I do, doesn't mean that I'm going to live a perfect, healthy life. I know lots of people who follow the rules and live life to, like, be 100% healthy, and they're still not healthy, and they're still not, uh, enjoying life, and they gotta, like, watch every little thing that they eat, and they gotta do this, because... They're trying their very hardest to live and to live in this world. So it's like, that's good for them. But for somebody like me, who has been to hell and back so many times, like I said, I can't even finish. I can't even finish cleaning my living room because I'm in so much pain right now. So, and the thing that helps me with the pain is going to bed. So... Yeah, people just, uh, but saying, telling people you gotta deal with the consequences, well, it's not like I'm doing drugs, it's not like I'm drinking, people just gotta lay off, uh, there's a lot of people who smoke, and a lot of people watch my channel because they like watching me smoke, so I smoke for them, I guess, in a way, but it's like, jeez, come on, you guys, seriously, <clears throat> it's just, uh, that's why I keep saying, do I really want to be at 1K? Not really, if I'm just going to be nagging at that constantly. That's why I keep saying, no matter what I do, nobody's going to be fully happy. Either my place is messy, either I'm smoking, but then yet if I was drinking on camera, then what? If I was smoking, if I was doing the dragon right now, then what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean... There's so many other things I could be doing that is bad for me, but I don't. Um, but yeah, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> yeah, so people are on my case about smoking. They're on my case about Bud and what's good for him when it's not even, when they don't even know Bud. Like, they never met Bud, and they don't help out with bills and stuff like that. So, technically, people don't have right to say what's good for Bud and what's wrong, because they're not here. They only see what I show you guys. <laughs> and I keep telling people, he hates being around people. He hates 
noise. He <laughs> he doesn't want to be outside because that's what's outside. It's all it's noisy. There's lots of people and there's lots of animals. And then, like I said, people bug me about cleaning. It's like, can't I just get a break for once? Like, every week. Yeah, this is why I'm like, this is why I don't want to get paid for YouTube because then I'm just going to get even more harassed and like people saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's like, come on, people. Like, just let me live my life. If you guys want to watch, watch. But to say that I got to suffer my consequences for smoking, I mean, Seriously, there's lots of people who have cancer who don't smoke. There's lots of people who don't drink and they get lung cancer. And who don't smoke and they get lung cancer. It's like, yeah, just because I smoke doesn't mean, I mean, it's a miracle that I haven't got lung cancer or any of those things because I've been smoking my whole life. <laughs> Like I said, I've been smoking since I was 12 years old. And before I used to smoke like four cartons a day. I used to literally smoke four car four cigarettes at a time. I don't do that anymore. I still chain smoke, yes. But it's how I deal with my pain. And it's how I deal, like I keep saying, I don't want to be on this road if I can't smoke. Because it's the only one thing that literally helps me. Like I said, having having Bud and having God and having my family, yeah, all those things do help me. But it doesn't help me to the point where I could actually enjoy my life. Like when I smoke. When I smoke, it relieves my anxiety. It relieves my stress. It relieves my depression. It makes me feel better. And so I'm never going to quit, like I keep saying. Uh... I don't keep telling people that they should quit eating meat and go vegan 100% or else I'm not going to talk to you. Even though, yeah, at the beginning I used to be like that, <laughs> but now I know better. But like I keep saying, it's just like, YouTube is just a nagging mom. And just because you guys are telling me to quit smoking, it's not going to make me quit smoking. So you're just wasting your own breath. <laughs> just makes me want to smoke even more. <laughs> So, yeah, unfortunately, I need to take a nap. I'm just, uh, burnt out from cleaning and moving everything around, and... I'm gonna have my alarm on. <sighs> but I'm just so tired. And when it's to the point where I can't even smoke because I'm not tired, I know I'm tired, so... I gotta put everything on hold, take a break. Again, if you have chronic fatigue syndrome and you have other conditions and you're always in constant pain, take breaks. Don't feel bad. It's always going to be there tomorrow. And if people are nagging at you to quit smoking and to, like, cut down on whatever, just ignore them. It's not worth it. Like I keep saying, people could literally get killed in their own home. Sad, sad to say, I know. But it's true. I mean, it's happening now in world war countries. So I just think you got to do what's best for you. You got to do uh, what you can and have whatever helps you cope with life. I mean, nobody could tell you it's wrong because you know, you know what you're going through. Like I keep saying, people don't know my past. People don't know. As soon as I quit smoking, I literally go back onto drugs, and that's worse. And that's why I keep saying, even my doctors keep saying, they don't keep telling me to quit smoking because they know. They know I'm going to literally go back onto drugs, and there might not be a next time. So, I mean, like I said, I don't drink. I quit drinking. I don't do weed, I don't do dr other drugs, and smoking is literally the one thing that keeps me going. It might be sad to say that, but people who smoke understand, and people who keep telling me to quit smoking, I think you need to start smoking <laughs> so you lay off me. So there we go. Anyways, yeah, I don't bother 
deleting those comments anymore because there's just so many now to the point where I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to do a video about it. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I'm never going to quit smoking. Tell me to quit smoking, it just pisses me off, makes me smoke more. So, <clears throat> again, you don't have to watch my channel if you don't want to watch me smoke. It's up to you guys. I'm not forcing anybody to watch my channel. This is, uh, was originally meant to be for me and for my friends, and then it became bigger. But, anyways, I'm going to go live at 9 o'clock Pacific time, so I want to take a nap. And, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> we'll celebrate getting to 1K, but right now, ever since I got to 1K, I'm really not enjoying it. It's like, <laughs> all the backslash that I've been getting since I've been at 600 subscribers, it's like, it's not really worth it. But I keep doing it because there are people that support me and that continue to watch me and go through every single video and stay updated. So I keep going for you guys. So for you guys, thank you. Thank you for not judging me. And once again, I'm never going to quit smoking. So if you don't like that, tough luck. <laughs> Welcome to my haunted world, XXOG. I forgot, I was taking a nap and we'll deal with the... Mess later in their bed. Here are phantom stories.